This video will show how Songtrix makes it remarkably easy to put musical ideas together from scratch with standard songs. We start at the welcome screen where we choose to create a new song. We are creating a standard song and here we select our starting options. Let's begin with a short musical passage of four bars or measures. Next, we choose which tracks we want to include in the song, which will be the drums, rhythm, chords and melody tracks. We can change or add to them later if we need to using the song setup window. Here we can pre-enter the title and credits of our new song. These can also be changed later. Then we are ready to begin. Here are the four bars of the tracks we have selected. Notice how the chords, rhythm and drum tracks are split into segments of one bar each, while the melody track has a single segment across all bars. This is a powerful feature of song tricks. We'll soon see how it works, but for now, just notice that segments in any track can be split or joined. Here I'm using the right-click pop-up menu to get these options. Let's start by creating a simple drum pattern on the first bar. If we click this segment, we open a window where we can edit the musical events in it. You can see the four beats of the bar and the sounds we have available in our drum kit to choose from. First, we select the drum beat tool, then we can start to create events wherever we click. A typical rock drum pattern involves a kick drum on each beat, a snare drum on every second beat, and a closed hi-hat cymbal on every half beat. Let's see how this sounds. We can save this pattern by pressing OK to return to the workspace. If we move the highlight off this bar, you can see our green drum events here in miniature. You will also see the following bars have the same pattern shown in grey. The symbol here shows they are marked as repeat segments that just replay the events in the previous segment. So our drum track is already done. Anytime we change our first bar pattern, the others will update too. Let's move on to the chords track. We can enter chords directly into the song using this drop down button to open a chord matrix. Each cell represents the chord made from the root note in the column and the chord type in the row. We can audition chords using the middle mouse button and select them with the left button. In the second bar, I want to add two chord changes, but each segment can hold only one chord. So first, I need to split this into two half bar segments. To repeat this chord progression in bars three and four, we don't need to enter them again because we can simply select copy and paste it. We won't hear these chords during playback until we add a rhythm to play them with. The chords and rhythm tracks are the same colour because they work together in a very flexible way to produce chord rhythms. We'll start in bar 1 where the C major chord is. You'll see that the tones of the C major chord are laid across the lines of the rhythm track and we play them by adding events to this rhythm segment. Here we select the strum chord tool and add a simple strum on each beat. If we find the strum speed is not quite right, we can select all the events and adjust it. Now we save this pattern back to the first rhythm segment. As with the drum track, it also appears in grey in the following repeat segments, but this time notice that the strum events adapt automatically to each chord change. Now to add the melody. Instead of having the segment editing window open on top each time, Track View offers an alternative way to work with events that you might prefer, especially with long segments. Here the song worksheet appears as a single line at the top with the selected segment at the bottom. 
The segment grid contains events for the notes of the piano keyboard, shown here. We can audition them anywhere using the middle mouse button. If we select the note tool, we can start to create a melody. You may find this one sounds familiar, but it's easy to move the notes around to try new ideas. Now let's hear what we've got. Yes, it's Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Already you can see how quickly the musical theme is taking shape. While we have been free to concentrate on the creative process, Songtrix has been busy working out the staff notation for us. After every change, this is automatically updated and we can check or play it any time in staff view. We can print this as a staff sheet report with a whole range of options for sizing, selecting particular tracks and so on. Now that we have the original idea developed, we want to expand it into a longer piece of music. We can use the insert bars command to add empty bars to our song, either in the middle or at the end. But if we want a similar copy of what we already have, there's a better way. For example, we may want to add a second verse, similar to the first one. The easiest way is to select all the bars, copy them, but this time use paste special and paste append to create a duplicate copy after the original. Now we can concentrate our attention on what will be different about the second copy. Here we change the last two chords and the last few notes to get a more definite ending. It's easy to be creative with song tricks, but this video has only just scratched the surface. The following videos explore each track and their features and techniques in much more detail.